Good morning. Good morning. Well, folks, I am sick. I have some head cold, something. It came on with a vengeance last night. I had a stuffy nose, couldn't breathe. I feel weak. So, I think Chap also has a stuffy, like he has also a running nose. I'm not sure he has a stuffy nose. We both don't feel too well. So, we'll see what we're gonna do. Might go into Idlewild tomorrow instead of our original plan to hike until Saddle Junction. But we will see. But yeah, no fun, no fun. Just got some water at the silo thing and talked to Chap and yeah, we're definitely going to uh, try to zero and do the early thing, like get to Idlewild on the early opportunity, not on the later opportunity. So we have to hike about 16, 18 miles today so that tomorrow would be only an eight or 10 miler so that we can make it an actual true Nero with a zero after, right? Because we're feeling like weak socks. We feel like some bus of the virus or bacteria hit us. <laughs> it went pow pow. We're not on the PCT yet. We're just walking back to it. All right, we're back on this here AT, not AT, sorry. Oh my gosh. We're back on the PCT for today. On today's agenda is a 10 mile water carry. And we're going uphill right now, so it's a nice little warm up, clearing out our, what are those things called? Like the holes, but there's like a cool word for it. Can't think of it. Orifices, or orifices, orifices? Yeah, that one. So the stay at Mike's place was amazing. Um, Mike's place is just a building and it belongs to a guy named Mike, only Mike doesn't, is never there. So when I looked at videos, I always see people stop by and then they kind of peace out. But the whole place is pretty neat. It's like abandoned in a way, but not really. And you can charge your phones, there's power outlets and he even made like a makeshift privy and there's little spots that are flat and he put like some windshield things next to it. It's the place to stay. I mean, I really highly recommend it. It's pretty cool. By the way, we're at 5,600 feet of elevation, just to give a little perspective. Because I know it doesn't look like it, but that's how high we are. I think that is Mount Jacinto right over there. It's pretty. Okay, so it seems like a lot of hotels are sold out because of course, tomorrow is gonna be Saturday. Uh, so we're waiting for one more place, but of course I have no connection. So if that place calls me back, I won't know. But we are reconsidering if we don't get any hotel room, then we're gonna stick to plan A and then get a room during the week, which should be better since it's not on the weekend. Maybe, we'll see, <laughs> but also, where are Fireball and Plus One? They are behind somewhere. We actually haven't heard from them. They didn't come to Mike's place. Um, so they're pro they probably were like about 
two-ish miles. They're generally about two miles behind us. So if we were to do a zero tomorrow, they probably would catch back up. If we're sticking to plan A, definitely not. So we'll see how that works out. But you know, Chap says this a lot on his videos. That's kind of what happens on trail. Like you hike with people and then like it just, you know, mileage works out differently. And then you might see them again in another 500 miles. It's kind of neat. You meet people, you don't see them for a while and then you see them again kind of part of the journey. Looks like we were able to book something. At least I got a confirmation notice. So hopefully that's a real room. Ow. I just want to take a moment to recognize all of you amazing subscribers. I reached 10,000 subscribers. That is just insane. I remember when I hiked the AT, I think I was consistently around two or 3,000. And then after my through hike, I decided to continue the channel and to be at 10,000 was just like, thank you so much, guys. Thank you for following all the ones, the diehard ones that have been with me since the beginning. I'm so appreciative. Like, you have no idea. Like, just you watching the video helps me be able to feel a lot more comfortable. Uh, me being able to afford this channel. Uh, being able to afford this hike. So, thanks. Also, some of you... There's always this discussion. People have all these discussions in my comments, but like some people are like, I suggest you do not do music. And some people are like, I like the music. Listen guys, I sometimes do music. I sometimes don't do music. There's a lot of channels who do not do music. Little Chap doesn't do music. So if you are annoyed by my music, just watch Little Chap. Um, I think the Herd Hiker also doesn't do music until the end of his video. So, Check them out if you don't like it. I don't have music all the time. I have them like every now and then. It's honestly a lot of work to add the music to the videos. So I probably will have more videos without music than with. Sometimes I have to put music. Why? Because either I'm breathing so heavy that you think I'm gonna have a heart attack or somebody says a curse word in the background or it just isn't working. So I add music because it does kind of tell the story. Also, sometimes those pans, you know, the panoramic views and stuff, like music is just like, if you don't like music, you should never watch a movie because every movie, every thriller has music the whole time, the whole time. If you ever pay attention, there's always background music in movies, in real movies. So, anywho. Um, again, thank you so much for people who watch me. If you don't like music, check out the other channels. Um, again, I don't have a lot of music, but I will. I'm not changing it because sometimes I like it. And so um, it was a pleasure to have you, but I know you have to move on to the non-music channel and that's fine with me. I'm totally okay with that. Um, so yeah, that's, that's like my little two cents right there. Huh. Almost hiked 10 miles, almost to the water source, because as I said, it was like a 10 mile water carry today. So now I'm just looking for the intersection where to turn because it's not on trail, it's a little bit off trail. All right, here's the intersection. This is where the water goes, and this is the PCT, so now let's go to the water! It's about 0.4 from the trail, quite a walk. You can always see where there's water, look at how green these trees are. Or like heck, I'm sitting on the Tyvek, waiting for Shrek. Gonna build me a deck. 
Gonna Bill stab Belichick. you in the neck. Bill Belichick. Bill nice. Belichick. So we got our water. It's like 0.4 downhill. Now we have to go uphill. We both are carrying four liters of water, which is about 8.8 .8 extra pounds. So yeah, the body's feeling it. You think you're in the middle of nowhere, right? And then you're like, there's the peoples. Boop. Hello. I don't have to get any water from there because I got water from the other thing but that doesn't look super tasty but when you need water it doesn't have to tasty be tasty it just, it just needs to be water it's interesting how people have different preferences right so I had to walk 0.4 so total of 0.8 to a running water source as in like it was like a faucet kind of thing. Clear water, beautiful. And then there's this water cistern right there with bugs in it and it's just standing water, but it's right on trail. So I guess it's always like, what do you do? Do you want like clear, cold water or standing water? And it's always like, do I want to walk or do I want to not walk? It's an interesting thing and how people make the decision based off of those things. Road crossing. Okay, put some water in my front pouch. And now it's uh, uphill for two and a half miles. Fun. about 17.1 miles into the hike. Now I'm just waiting for Chap because our goal was 16, 17. Um, we are around eight and a half miles from Paradise Valley Cafe. So we'll see if we're gonna find the campsite or if we'll hike all the way to PVC. It would be nice to kind of make a two zeros. I mean like not to hike for two days, but if we have to find a camp and then hike like eight, eight and a half miles tomorrow, that's fine too. Then we'll at least have a zero for Sunday and can rest. Little chap has arrived and we decided to cowboy camp and we have about 7.8 miles left to PVC tomorrow. So yeah, that's it. That's all I have to say. You want some bacon bits? No, oh, thank you. So we're kind of glutton for punishment because we decided to keep going. I'm not sure why, but we just did. We decided it would be nice to get a little bit closer to town and we had dinner. And yeah, we're just gonna keep going. Don't ask me why, we're just doing it. Well, this is an important message to all hikers to treat property appropriately and not mess things up. So whoever had criminal activity on his property, thanks. Okie dokie, we hike 19.1 miles. There's Chap. And then Hammer found us. If you don't, if you don't know Hammer, he's a friend of 
little chap and they hiked like some trails together and also hammer has his own channel which is hammer hikes so if you want to see his journey make sure you follow <laughs> but um yeah it was a rough one today just because we're sick but we have i have no idea how many miles we have to town probably around five to six let's say six and uh yeah beautiful where the sun at right there where the sun at oh okay can't even see it well good night y'all bye